got a ninja creamy. I decided to get this because I, I try to I'm trying to make more homemade things, um, like ice cream wise, because uh, it, we eat so much of it and it's really expensive. So I have gotten actually just to give you a quick. We're gonna do a reveal here and you guys can see it, and then I'll show you. I'll I'll record another video um, of us actually making some, but. Um, I had gotten a ice cream maker actually with a compressor in it, so it was completely self-sustaining. I didn't need any ice or salt or anything. Um, can somebody please go close the front door? Yeah. Um, and uh, I, but the problem is, is that the size of the canister for the ice cream is like, it's a pint, and we have seven people in our family, and so I was like, how can and the we ice cream do this? Taste like, well, the ice cream's not too bad, but I was just really wanting a, a larger volume, and I didn't want it to be messy with all of the ice and the, um, I didn't want to, um, like I wanted it to be hard, right? You have those things that you can put in the freezer, but when, when you're done making that ice cream, you still have to put it back in the freezer to make it hard. So you have to actually put it in the freezer twice. With the creamy, I'm going to sound like a commercial. With the creamy, um, you actually, you put the base, the ice cream base in the freezer. Prior to making it, you freeze it and then you use it in the creamy. And so what I decided might really work, and I'm hoping this works for larger families, is that we're going to get multiple of these little creamy pints and lids. And um, so we can make like four or five or six of them because literally you guys, once you put it in the Ninja, it's done in like three or four minutes, maybe even less than that. So, um, so I thought, I thought that would be a, a better way to go about it if we wanted hard ice cream. So that's what we're going to open the creamy for. It is actually a Rev Shabbat, and so we are getting ready for Shabbat. I don't think we're going to be able to do this in time for Shabbat, because I think the base actually has to uh, freeze. Let's so let's just, let's just look at that real quick. Here's a little quick start guide. We actually got this at Walmart, you guys, for $150. They had it at Costco for $180, down from $200. So it was cheaper at Walmart than it was at Costco, if you're looking at getting it. Um, yeah, so you have to freeze it for 24 hours, okay? So you have to have that, that uh, foreknowledge, that foresight to freeze it ahead of time, which is fine um, for me, I don't mind that. Um, and also what comes with it is a recipe book. I got suckered into buying a creamy recipe book off of the Walmart uh, website. I'm gonna send it back. This has um, 15 plus delicious recipes. So that will be more than enough for us. Um, it has ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, milkshakes. Um, that will be sufficient. And, and really, what's a recipe good for? Here's a little teaching for the day. A recipe is good for showing you proportions. Teaching. So you'll be able, with this, we'll learn what proportions are for these different things, and then we can customize them to our heart's content. So we have the recipe book, and I'm assuming probably a warranty or something. And let's see what really this is. Old. All right, so the first little container here, is our cups. little our little creamy cups. They're so cute. And it's a ninja product. Usually ninja products are pretty high quality. So this is what you make your base in. This is what you freeze it in. And then um, then you put it in the ninja. It looks like an extra lid. You put it in the ninja. And actually, let me look at the quick start guide real quick because I want to find out exactly how long it takes once you stick it in the ninja. It takes one and a half minutes. That's all it takes. So you stick it. Really? <laughs> yeah, one and a half minutes. So yeah, that's a pretty quick uh, ice cream. As long as you have the foresight to freeze the um, the base prior that's kind of, to running it. That's kind of cheating. 
cheating though. Is it cheating? Yeah. I don't know. All it does is kind of so soften it. And make it not so frozen. It's gonna make it heavy. No, or it'll it make it thick. It makes it creamy. Alright guys, y'all are gonna have to help me. ice cream I'm assuming that's like a gelato or milkshake and then oh you can do mix-ins so mix-ins would be like a blizzard right ah. I'm assuming that's like a blizzard or maybe there's a, a milkshake Nah, I doubt it I was thinking maybe there was a dispenser that you could put it in and then it would dispense a mix-in into it but that I would think, make it that'd be cool okay so yeah here it is here's our little creamy Let's put this on and see if it locks. That's so uh, cool. You can scroll it up and down. Oh, there it is. Here, stand back, Bubba. There you go. So you twist it on. Let me hold it. In. So that's how it releases. And then this is how, yeah, we're not going to do that. This is how it, it locks in. And it comes very nicely. You want to pull it off? Go. And it says, start by scanning here to learn how to use your creamy and explore hundreds of recipes. So I obviously did not need that recipe book that I paid for for $20. So I am going to take that back. But anyway, we'll post another video showing our ice cream. I'm guessing we won't do it until Sunday or so. But I hope you enjoy. Post your comments below if you have any questions. We hope you have a blessed vibes. Until next time, shalom, shalom.